What's going on, guys? It's Alex with Sipno Tech, and we are going to do an office tour today. I don't think we've ever done an office video before. Um, so I'm meaning to do it. We're actually going to move away from this particular office very soon. So I might, I wanted to like record this, show you guys, and in a way, it's kind of like a memoir for me too to remember this place uh, before we leave. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is our Sipno Tech offices. I also share this as my production office. So um, I run a production company called Dark Sun Entertainment, and we bring in clients and stuff like that in here too. So it's like a shared place, uh, and we also use it for storage. But what we have here is the main room. So um, it's a three, it's a three room uh, office building or office room here, and we have a lobby. We'll show you that in a, in a second, but. Most of the stuff you normally see on our channel takes place in this room here. This is my office. Uh, it's a two table office. We have two desks. Um, let's start over with what we have here. So, you know, when I was a kid, I was a big fan of Mr. Rogers, right? Mr. Rogers, I think most of us grew up watching Mr. Rogers and he would always, first thing he would do when he gets into his um, home or his workspace there was to change his jacket put on a new pair of shoes. Um, that's actually just recently there. I usually wear those Adidas, but uh, Xiaomi, you know, I got these from, um, I think Gearbest sent us to, sent it to us a while ago to review, and we did a video about them. Uh, so recently I've been wearing these, so I switched them in the office. I don't know why, but I, I just do it. Uh, it's freezing cold in here. You can't adjust the air conditioning. The air conditioning is, whatever the building manager has it on it's always been like that so it's freezing cold like 60 degrees um, and the air vent is directly in the center of the room it's freezing cold so always have a jacket on um, keys backpack i just drop off everything there's a little seat here a uh, little area to get set up in the morning when we get in and then on this side of the room we have this desk which you've seen before we've got this was this was here a while ago. We got it from Ikea. It's a sit-stand desk. I don't really recommend it. It doesn't really work anymore. <laughs> it just moves a little bit and it stops moving. So I am uh, not too pleased with that sit-stand desk here. But uh, the sit-stand desk originally was pretty good and it's pretty, pretty affordable as far as sit-stand desks go. So you can see here, it has the, uh, the arms, and I have my cable management here, which is really messy. Uh, one thing I kind of regret was after setting up the initial stuff here, I never really went full in to organize all the cables and all that good stuff. Uh, so the next setup I'm gonna do, I'm definitely gonna spend more time on this. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I have all the cables just basically stored here and it's really messy and I, bugs me every day. Same thing with the top of the desk. Like I, I just never really fully invested in uh, organizing all that, which I kind of regret. Um, but anyway, this is my Windows setup. It's, we don't really do much on here. We kind of just do browsing on the web, a little bit of Photoshop, uh, some gaming, you know, to beat out traffic at times. You know, California traffic is horrible, so uh, yeah, I have Steam on here, I have some games on here, Fallout 4, you know, Stardew Valley. I uh, don't really play much games, unfortunately, at the office, but uh, I did build this PC here, which we also did a video about a long time ago. That was the first PC I built. Um, so yeah, we do some light gaming. It's it's pretty, pretty fun setup. Um, let's see, what else? The keyboard is nothing too special. We did a video about this before. This is DB Power. They sent it to us to review a long time ago as well. Uh, all the videos are on our channel, so if you want to check out any of these things, we, we've covered most of this before. Same thing with this, this um, power strip for the desktop. We checked this out on the video as, uh, checked this out on the channel a long time ago as well. And this thing is a lifesaver. It's really nice to have something that looks this clean on top. Uh, I call this a Spider-Man desk because Spider-Man occupies this and he is the worst roommate you can have. He ruins so many takes of videos. And you guys, if, you followed, if you've been following the channel for a while, you've seen him mess up a lot of our great takes. Uh, so yeah, this guy annoys me a lot. Uh, but he's so cute, it's hard to, hard to get rid of him. 
And we have a Razer mouse. This is just a really old one, leftover Lolita. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. It's 2014, it's the Naga, but yeah, this is Lita's old gaming mouse and she brought it here and uh, we just decided to keep using it. I'm not a huge fan of this particular mouse, but I have so many mice, I just decided just to use this one here. Uh, we have some art. So if you've seen videos before from Sipnotech, you see a lot of comic related stuff because my previous occupation was, and we'll see it over on that side, but I was a uh, beat writer for uh, AXS, Access Examiner. And I used to cover a lot of comic cons and I met a lot of artists and things like that and actors and back when Marvel first started all the movie stuff, I got a chance to talk to all the actors, all the stuff, it was awesome. And so, you know, I go to comic cons a lot, I meet a lot of artists back in the day. So it's been a while. So we have a lot of this art stuff here. J. Scott Campbell, my favorite artist of all time. Uh, we got that sculpture. We got a lot of like limited edition things. I'm a collector myself. And um, just in my drawers, back in the old days, like once again, I got a lot of prints from uh, artists that I've interviewed or met or signed. They're pretty, pretty awesome. And I used to rotate them and put them on the wall, but I've just been so busy, I haven't really rotated it. So they've been kind of stale for a while now. And then I got some controllers in here for gaming. Once again, I don't really game much nowadays, but we do have them. And I've always been, I don't know if I have actually did a video on these yet, but I, I have like a bunch of Bluetooth controllers, like the SteelSeries one, um, and a bunch of like 8-bit do ones. I think we featured them kind of like here and there, but never consistently. So, um, yeah, that's my goal. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get all the videos out there one day. Um, and then well, migrating to my main desk, we have these cubbies. Yeah, I guess you can call them cubbies. We got these at IKEA, and they're mounted onto the wall. Very simple. Also, uh, that Nintendo Switch thing we showed this in a video before. Once again, a lot of like just nerd nerdy stuff, you know, because I used to cover that stuff. Um, here, I keep all the smartwatches. I have probably, uh, let's see, probably have like 12 in my possession here. And then I have some at home too. Um, nothing too crazy, but, and then up here I have just miscellaneous stuff, some tools. Yeah, I put some tools up here, production folders for um, my company. Yeah, just trying to keep organized, even though, as you can see, it's not that organized. Um, I have stuff like laying everywhere. But my main desk right here is, you've probably seen this in a lot of videos. Most of the shots that we do revolve around this table. Got LEDs on the back, like a strip of LED. And I love these Edison bulbs. I really wanted to do something with Edison bulbs in this room. So that's why we did that. I just love that aesthetic there. And also, um, I really like Fallout 4, Fallout in general actually, made me really into a fan of old looking props. And so I bought this Crosley, um, was this Crosley? Yeah, this Crosley phone. And it's an actual landline phone. It's just, I don't have a landline here, but it, I use it for a decoration in the background. You see it in the shots and I just think it looks really nice, but it's a working phone. Uh, it's just not working for me because I don't have it working here. And this table here, this is a really old setup that you, you, you saw on YouTube probably 2015-ish. A lot of people were doing this. I saw it, um, I think Dom was one of the first ones to do it. But it's a kitchen countertop from Ikea uh, on top of two Alex drawers. And that's exactly my setup here. Um, let's see. In the drawers, first drawer I just have miscellaneous office stuff, whiteboard things, tape. Uh, packaging stuff to sell on eBay. And then I have all the dongles because of course, MacBook life, Chromebooks, everything everybody is using USB-C, you're gonna need a lot of these dongles and companies have been um, sending it to us to take a look at. We, we featured these before, have it. Um, I see GI, I think. Yeah, I, we just have so many over the years that uh, we've, we've reviewed on the channel. So if you guys like checking that out, definitely check it out. Uh, miscellaneous stuff. 
these are things that I have not got to reviewing. So yeah, yeah, like the outlier one. I usually keep things in here that are on my to-do list in terms of miscellaneous uh, accessories. And I got some hard drives and things like that, uh, editing drives. I used to be much neater with how I did this stuff, but uh, ooh, over the years, it just got messier and messier. Uh, but on the table, we have my Audio Technica headphones. I don't, it's editing headphones, it works. I got the stand from uh, Satachi. Got two, the mouse and the keyboard plugged in here. And the mouse that I use to edit on this main computer is this MX Master. Um, actually, no, this is the MX. Yeah, I don't use the MX Master. Not, not here, at least, this is the MX. And then we got this solar Logitech keyboard. No batteries. It's not that durable. You can see a crack there and, you know, honestly, all it does is sit on the table, so I don't know how it cracked. But uh, yeah, I've never once had to plug this in or put a new battery in. It's always been there. And I have this glorious gaming mat, this super elongated one that I've been using for years, and I think this is one of the better ones. Um, and then this monitor is an LG 1440p. It's a quad HD display, um, ultra wide, great for editing probably replace this in the near future but right now i think it works and then got a lot of miscellaneous junk here uh this is from xiaomi Lia did a video on it this is the those glasses that kind of help with the blue lights um what else do i got oh i also have a harry potter this this chose me so this wand chose me in uh universal when they first opened harry potter world at uh in orlando i went there and one of the first tours um, I was one of the people that this one chose, so I had to display it somehow, and I put it on this cheap little Harry Potter wand stand here. So you've probably seen all this before. And uh, this was given to me by uh, one of our fans, because they know I like Fallout. And we got a cell phone holder. I currently have the Black Shark here. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, speakers, nothing too special. I have the Bose. These, the, this set has been around uh, somewhere in my home or offices for at least, I would say, 10 years. Like These things have been passed around from my family and friends for a long time, so they've settled here. Uh, moving on to this end of the table. It's a long table. Uh, another Edison bulb. I really like this lamp here. I got it on Amazon. And we got a Captain America shield. It's not supposed to be here. Uh, I ended up here because I didn't have any room to put it anywhere. It, I just got it for cosplay reasons back then. But um, yeah, it's just sitting here. It's resting on this Yeti speaker lamp because my Yeti is actually mounted here on this arm, right there. Very simple. Um, and then back in the day, my table, I had a, a table lined up this way. And over here was my wall of badges, kind of like my trophy collection over the years. Um, my press badges. I used to also be an employee for San Diego Comic Con. I was a head line manager there. So basically, I was in charge of certain rooms at Comic Con. And I had to manage the flow of traffic, of people. I had to make sure that the uh, panelists had to get into the room in an orderly fashion, so I work really closely with them too. And so I have most of the badges that I, I like because a lot of them look really cool. Look at this WonderCon one. I actually got this signed by Babs too. She was, uh, she designed this particular um, um, main drawing for it. So some of these badges are just really cool and I use them for design stuff. And also I have some, this used to be my J. Scott Campbell wall. So J. Scott Campbell was a really famous Marvel artists or a Disney artist nowadays because Marvel owns Disney. And uh, at San Diego Comic Con one year, um, he was doing like these exclusive little sketches and they were selling for like a thousand dollars. And Lita actually picked one up. And on the spot, someone offered us, to, someone offered to buy that book for two grand right away. And it was just, it was mind blowing. And uh, we've had some great experiences with J. Scott Campbell in the past. Um, anyway. What else should we do? Oh, okay. So on our second side of Alexa drawers, or Alex drawers, uh, hard drives. 
So uh, this this side is mainly for my dark sunny stuff, my production. Uh, so yeah, client work, toy soldier project on this. This is a documentary we've been working on. Um, yeah, they should be labeled better, honestly. But working on that, honestly, it's I need to be better organized. Uh, this is my phone rack. So let me turn the camera forward here. Yeah, this is my phone rack. Some of these phones have been reviewed. Some of them have not. You know, we got like the XA2. We got the original Pixel. That's the Honor 8. So I, some of these phones I decided to keep. Others I need to list to sell. We got all the charger, the bricks, the cables. Um, yeah, this is my tablet and Chromebook space. So yeah, I just have a, a lot of stuff that should be more organized. And the cases, so a lot of case makers uh, send us cases to review, and most of them end up here. When I sell them on eBay, resell them on eBay, a lot of times I include them for free because, um, well, why not? Because I don't need it anymore. Um, and then you know, this should be on the other drawer because I got this on Prime Day, and I need to incorporate this. But uh, yeah, this is all my receipts and miscellaneous paperwork that I need to sort out. In terms of computers, the computer that is hooked up to this monitor is this old thing, this MacBook, uh, sorry, MacBook, this Mac Pro, this really old Mac Pro from, oh, I always mess this up. Is this 2009? I think this is the 2009 model. Let's check really quick. Yeah, this thing has been with me for a long time. Yep, early 2009. So yeah, that's the Mac Pro there, and uh, it's at its, it's on its last legs. And I just recently bought the MacBook Pro 2018, so that will be my main editor. This cannot edit 4K. It is, it's on its its last days with me. So it's been quite a while, almost 10 years. And then down there, we have that thing there, that box. That's where we put all the cables. Once again, my cable management is not good at all here. That's my next big thing to do. Uh, I got to fix the cable management, but I have that box there that handles it for now. This chair, Office Depot, at first, when I first sat on it, I was like, wow, dang, this chair is so freaking comfortable. It's like a marshmallow. You just sit there and whew, so relaxing but over time it has not held up it's only been a year and this thing the cushions just they're not too nice I I don't like it I don't like it at all <laughs> so I need a better chair in the future uh, over at this wall just miscellaneous boxes posters from my previous gigs once again all the nerd stuff um, all that stuff here the main camera I shoot with for YouTube videos is this GH4. I also use this for weddings as well. Uh, we have the video micro, the Rode video micro mounts down on there. My sticks, uh, well, you'll see this is a recurring theme, but I, I cheap out on certain brands or certain things that you probably shouldn't do. But I have Benro, these Benro sticks have been with me for a while. They're kind of like the cheap man's Manfrotto. In this corner, we have our lights. This is where my lighting area is. Usually I don't strip the lights down because it takes a, it takes a lot of time to put it back up. Uh, in this particular case, there's only two soft boxes here. I usually have a lot more stuff in this corner. But because I was on a shoot just last week, I had to pack up most of my stuff to take out to LA to do a filming session. So. Uh, a lot of it is out there and I haven't set it back up yet. And then this is a case, this shelving thing. I think I bought it at, I wanna say Ikea. So yeah, I got this at Ikea and I, it's just basically a placeholder for all my boxes. I love keeping the boxes. And as a collector of comic things, as you can see, having the original box that the thing comes with, it keeps the resale value higher and uh, yeah, I just, I'm a hoarder. You can also say I'm a hoarder. So I have all this stuff here. So when I do a video, uh, you kind of sometimes see this in the background. I got this idea from Lon Simon actually. Lon Simon has one, but he has 
a much better organized background than I do because it started to stack up. It originally looked pretty cool. Like, so this was an Apple one, has like antique Apple stuff. And then on this side, I have some like antique cameras, Polaroids, like, uh, like authentic ones, not reproduced ones. But as you can see, it started just kind of stacking up because we started getting so much stuff that ugh, it, it got difficult to, to keep track of. And then I also have like this wine table. This is for the kitchen, it's a wine table. As you can see here, it's supposed to put wine here, but I put backpacks, bags, things like I, I this is, I think we reviewed this already. Yeah, this is a Xiaomi bag, but there's some other bags that we did not review yet that I really need to catch up on. But um, yeah, I use it for storage. And then on there, those are some boxes of things I'm selling on eBay, keep them prepared, listed, ready to go, etc. And so as you can see, we stand behind the table. Sometimes we have that chair sitting there. Videos look cool. We use this to unbox. That's mostly our setup here. Um, and quickly, we'll go over here. So I also have this like tr this cart from Ikea that I use to store my equipment that I use on a daily basis. So camera equipment, heads, uh, lenses, things like that, batteries, uh, miscellaneous things. So whatever I feel like I need on a daily basis for filming, I have that. But let's go out here really quick. So I have done some things on this white wall here. Uh, this is, I guess, a lobby area of the office that we're currently in. And then over here, we've also done certain videos. I remember uh, when we had some guests on here, like uh, Abraham uh, reviewing the, what was that, Galaxy S8? We did the interview session here and we reviewed it together there. It's pretty cool. I really like the setup uh, where I sit there and then we have guests over there in that couch and we just kind of interact. I thought that was really cool, a uh, really neat thing. I also put a projector here and it plays onto the white wall over there. So it's a pretty deep room, uh, but we, we just launched the projector there, turn off all the lights and it's pretty neat. Um, and then on this side, more miscellaneous uh, equipment things. Just over the years, just a lot of, a lot of stuff. Like look at this slate, it's been snapped in half. Um, also like some of our older products, like unsold posters from back in the day. What was this film? Hide and Shriek, one of the films that we did. So yeah, just a lot of products and stuff like that that I haven't uh, finished selling. T-shirts. What is this? I think it's a hide and shriek t-shirt. So yeah, I mean, I use this rack for miscellaneous storages, tripods, uh, more lights and stuff. And then we'll swing it over this way. This table, some of you guys might remember when we first started Sypnotech, we used to do the Sypnotech show here. So Lita and I would sit right there facing you guys here with the camera looking that way and we would do our podcast, our daily or, or monthly podcast. So that was pretty fun. Uh, we since moved that um, to a different place now. And I think Lita is just gonna do it solo. So uh, eventually I do wanna do more like talk show style stuff, but right now that's on hiatus. Uh, it just takes a lot of time. Um, and then over here, it's just more equipment, camera bags, audio bags, cables, got some Aries here. Um, yeah, just a lot of junk. This isn't even all of it. Our DP has, oh my gosh, his place is loaded with stuff. Uh, I got a crane that we never use. C-Stand is probably the best investment. So uh, C-Stand, sandbag, and also this, this boom is probably, you see this a lot. This is one of the better boom ones. If you ever get a boom, definitely get one with that plug there. So you don't have to wrap the cables around. Um, and then more junk, we got lighting boxes. These take up a lot. This is a box of Aries, LEDs. We don't really, I don't really use them anymore, at least not for YouTube. YouTube, I just keep it simple. Three, <laughs> yeah, YouTube, I just keep it simple. When we shoot films, we shoot on the red, which is a lot more setup, a lot more elaborate timing. Um, yeah, YouTube, I just kind of want to keep it fun. I, I just, I want to improve. I want to do better, but at the same time, I want to go like full out red, you know, it just, this is supposed to be fun. And uh, the main thing that I wanna do on YouTube for you guys is to have a communication, to, to have that 
talk because we are here to have a discussion about tech, have a discussion about things we like. And ultimately, that's what we want to do on the channel. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this tour. I'm going to miss this place a little bit, but we have a lot of cool videos coming up in our new setup and also our potential other office setup once we get that going. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!